What's going on YouTube, Steven the Salon Guy here and in today's video we're going to be talking about medium length hair for men and I guess it could apply to women as well but you know I keep getting lots of comments about guys wanting to see tutorials for longer hairstyles like this and you know my question to you is are you really interested in looking to grow your hair long like this? So I'm going to be giving you some tips and some uh, you know suggestions of how to grow your hair out, how to maintain something like this and a whole bunch of stuff. So I'm ready to go, let's get started. If you are a dude who is looking to grow your hair out, first of all, let's talk about growing it out and then we'll get to actually maintaining something like this. So growing your hair out into a length like this requires a few things. One, being patient, all right? You need to be patient because if you're coming from a short haircut, all this hair, just imagine when you look how long this is, right? If hair is growing a half an inch to three quarters of an inch a month, I mean, just think about how long it's gonna take Say for example, this is about six, seven inches. It's gonna take six, seven months to grow your hair this long. So, you know, just think about that and, and don't worry about how long it have to be. Just keep growing it until it's at the length that you like it, like, like I've mentioned in past videos. Uh, another important thing is having to shape it for this to grow out properly. So, you know, I would suggest if, you're, if your hair gets a certain length and it looks horrible, you know, maybe have your stylist trim it and shape it up so that as it grows, it's actually gonna grow out really nice looking so that like, you know, you can go months and months and still have it keep its shape. Now, it's, it's easier said than done, <laughs> I'll be honest with you, because there are a lot of, you know, professionals, whether they're barbers or stylists, that can actually butcher the hair and not know how to cut it properly to let it grow out. But the key thing when you're growing your hair out to get it to this length is you gotta make sure that you have some layers in it. And what I mean by layers, is that you need to have this weight removed, okay? Let's just turn the head this way. And the weight removed me means basically by holding this up, any hair up here that's causing it to not lay properly. So by doing that, it's gonna allow the hair to grow out with having a little bit of, um, you know, some nice flow to it, as opposed to it being just like all one length, looking really, really heavy, looking matted down. And there's nothing wrong with that. If you wanna have your hair one length, you want it to be very flat to your head, you want it to look just straight, then that's fine, right? If you want, if you want to make sure that like, you know, your hair's a little more on the frizzy side and you know, you're constantly gonna be kind of pulling it down like this and smoothing it with your hands, you know, it's a bit wavier. You, you want to have that excess length so it's gonna weigh the hair down. The more layers you put into your hair, and if you do have wavy curly hair, it's actually gonna make it, it's gonna make those waves and that curl kind of stand out even more and actually have a nicer shape because what you're doing is re you're removing all that excess weight so it's allowing the hair to kind of breathe if you will so when it comes to growing it right um that's going to basically be it patience having a good shaping and helping it you know waiting for it to get to that point with some the right guidance from your stylist uh next if you have hair like this already and you're looking to maintain its shape so every like month and a half or two months you want to trim you know, it's the same thing like I do with all my layered haircuts. What you really are trying to do is make sure you've got a good flow, a good connection, you wanna have the hair balanced, you wanna make sure you're getting ideal trims, you wanna make sure it's layered properly. And again, if you have to be careful that the person cutting your hair is not going to chop these layers too much. So what do I mean by chopping up the layers? What I mean is if somebody actually you know, say for example, if a barber combs up the hair like this and takes clippers and slices that right off, I mean, and tries to keep it balanced and even and create a good shape throughout the whole head, I mean, good luck. I would say run, right? Run away and be careful. What you really need is someone who understands the foundation of hair cutting and understands shape, understands balance, and that's why I'd say maybe a hairstylist might work for this or a barber who understands that and can cut longer hair like this because you really need to have a really good haircut. You have to have good balance. The, the stylist needs to understand, you know, how the hair is gonna fall, the right cut for your face and all that kind of stuff. And it's really, really important because I have a lot of clients myself who have longer hair like this that, you know, they do like some layers on the hair. I do have some that I say to them, look, I wanna keep your layers on the longer side, meaning it's just gonna have some movement towards the ends. Right? And, and some guys like that. They just want to see some movement down in through kind of the neck area down through here. Right? This, is, this is kind of, you know, say down to here and just through this bottom half, there's some layers going on. And the top has, 
you know, long layers. So again, you need to find the right person to make sure they can shape this uh, the best way possible for your hair type and also for your style. So that's pretty much it guys. You know, as far as products go, I'm one of those people who depends, who say it depends on what you're looking to do. So products of mine like Clutch or Pregame, you know, or like any of those ones that are a bit stronger, I would say to steer away from those. So something like maybe Hustle, Shadow or 25 spray even, you know, Sleek. Any of those products are really, you know, Tidal Wave even, they're ideal for longer hair types because you, you basically, they're easy to go through the hair. When you, when you have longer hair, you want to look almost as natural as possible, right? If your hair is frizzy, use something like Sleek, which is a smoothing serum, or use 25 spray. 25 spray is like ideal for any situation. You know what I mean? You can spray it in when it's wet, you can let it air dry, you know, I know I get a lot of questions, people saying, oh, can I have a haircut and use a product and just let it air dry? Yes, you can if you have the right haircut, <laughs> if, the, if the stylist did the right thing. So yes, you can just let it air dry. It just really depends on the shape and the product you're using. So let me know if you found this helpful, guys, in the comments below. You know, again, I get so many questions. And if you're noticing, I look a little bit different. Yes, I've shaved my beard, right? And if you, uh, and, and also, guys, I have, I have over 600,000 followers here. If you are on Instagram, or subscribers, if you're on Instagram, please go to my Instagram page and follow me, The Salon Guy. I'd love to kind of boost up my Instagram following, all right? Just go to Instagram, it's The Salon Guy, all one word, and follow me. And also subscribe if you're seeing us for the first time. Let me know in the comments below if you found this video helpful, and thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time for more videos with The Salon Guy.